Everything I own is broken in some way. Hey guys, so got my dually back. It's already broke. I put about 300 miles on it and uh, was driving it home from work and it started to run funny. So I pulled it in here. I think I had some water in the fuel or something, probably from setting. Um, so I drained the fuel bowl and checked things out and uh, noticed uh, one of the tensioner pulleys was making some noise or the idler pulley so I was going to change it with another one I had drop the breaker bar and puncture the radiator so I'm gonna fix that today because without that can't take the Z to the drift vent the Z I think it's got a bad wheel bearing which I'm gonna check today and go ahead and order one online I was just gonna drive the truck home last night but it started and then died so that's as far as I got so that's why it's just kind of there gutted 350Z's make great parts haulers it's a big radiator so today let me popping the radiator in this thing and getting the Z in the air and checking all everything out and make sure it doesn't need anything before the drift event. Alex's car is mostly ready to go. It's got some wheels on it that he's going to use as drift spares. We just put brand new tires on it. But we did find out it's got a weak fuel pump. So that's probably the last thing that we'll do to that besides to go kind of get it roughed in on alignment. Hopefully, Eli will be back in time to go to the drift event. He is a truck driver, so he's gone for weeks at a time and makes it a little difficult to work on cars. So I try to help him as much as I can. I cannot believe I dropped a wrench and it just so happened to puncture this thing. So far I have not had a great experience with the Power Stroke 7.3. It's been a pain in my butt. This thing's kind of jank anyway. So it looks pretty straightforward. Basically I just have to drain the fluids. Just take these upper mounts off and pull this dude out of here. I wish it would stop raining. All right, I'm gonna get at it. I was gonna video some of this, but I don't really wanna have the camera out in the rain. So, that little nick, that's all it took. So I was looking at this thing, it doesn't look so hot anyway. So probably not a bad deal. Trying to make the best out of a bad situation, I guess. It literally took me like five minutes to disconnect. So I'm gonna put this one in, fill it with coolant, and I'm gonna, I've got a blockage somewhere in the AC system, so I bought a receiver dryer and an orifice tube. I'm going to uh, replace those and see if I can't uh, get it to work. The AC compressor seems to work just fine. Um, builds pressure and everything it just gets really high on the high side so it moves the radiator seems to be working just fine I had a running issue like I mentioned before and it seems to have gone away it accelerates fine there's no hesitation so I'd say there's probably just water in the 
fuel somewhere. Hopefully. Alright, so we're back here at the shop after test drive. Made a little detour and uh, helped my dad change his brakes on his Tahoe. He's capable. I just kind of started doing it. I have that problem. Obviously. Um, anyway, so decided to go ahead and start tackling the AC stuff uh, now that it runs really good. So uh, went ahead and pulled the orifice tube out, um, which is definitely my problem. Definitely clogged up. That's why it wasn't working like it should. So there, for example, is a new one. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff on it, so. I'm gonna be flushing everything out. I've got some AC flush somewhere. It's over here. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the condenser lines loose and, and do that. So now I can have AC in this thing, which is pretty awesome. Super, super excited that it runs better. Uh, by the way, I might do it again just because, just to show people how to do it. Um, it was running really bad and I seen a thing on YouTube that basically you drain the fuel bowl and fill it full of sea foam, let it run for a couple minutes and shut it off. Well, yeah, it made make quite a bit of difference. Uh, highly recommend doing that. So I'm gonna do this, start charging the AC uh, after I flush it and uh, I might start cleaning it. I've had this for about two or three years and I have only I only put 75 miles on it uh, up until re recently, just because of constant engine problems. So now that we got it figured out. I might kind of clean up the interior. I'm going to wrap these in black because I'm not a wood grain guy. But yeah, clean up the interior, make it ready for next week road trip. It's got pretty good tires on the front, and the back not so much, but oh well. And it needs tent in a bad way. AC is charged, blows nice and cold. Check everything out underneath. Rear main seal is pretty bad leak, so it sucks because I just had the engine put in. I didn't put the engine in because obviously not very much room in here. It just seems like it'd be a bigger pain in the butt for me to try to do it in here versus paying somebody to do it. So first thing I've ever paid anybody to work on oh well so I'm gonna fix the rear main seal at some point I'm just gonna pull the transmission and do that and other than that I gotta fix the front axle but that can wait I'm gonna back this out pick up some tools and pull the Z in and check the wheel bearings on it. Sounds like it's got a bad wheel bearing, but I'm not quite sure. Um, so I'm going to check it out. And then I'm going to go give this a good test drive and hopefully it does well. Well, both wheel bearings on the Z are bad in the rear. So I don't know if I'm just going to send it or if I'll replace them before the drift event. There's not like a ton of play. But there's enough. I'm going to try to start doing a, a little update video throughout the week. Just little things I do. Not everything I do is uh, in depth as like what we do, like putting an engine in a car or whatever. But figured if I'm going to vlog, I might as well vlog more events. So the dually is driving, running, got AC, which is awesome. Hopefully... I can clean it. I was going to get the windows tinted, but I don't know if I will or not. Um, before the driving it to the drift event. I don't like driving. I don't like everybody seeing me. Even though I'm, everybody's seeing me right now. I was hoping this thing would start so I could move it out of the way, but I don't think it's going to. That's what it does.
no fuel pump. This weekend, or maybe next week, I'm probably gonna go over the trailer. It's been sitting since I drove through the flood water. So I'm gonna make sure there's no water in the bearings and probably repack the bearings and all that. After the drift event, uh, fix this thing because it's a very, very good daily driver aside from the gas mileage. I just like it's comfortable. I uh, finished prepping this this weekend. Get that where it can drive and we'll go drive around and make sure everything's good. We're gonna put a fuel pump in it and get alignment. We eyeballed it in and it, I mean, it, it drives all right, but figured it needs at least one on the machine alignment. After the drift event, uh, it's gonna be knocking a lot of projects out. And then there's another drift event a month after that. And then a month after that. So this is probably gonna get pushed. I was gonna try to drive this with the LS in it at the last drift event of the year. Don't think that's gonna happen with the way everything's breaking. Diesels are expensive. But hopefully it'll be worth it. I've never I never got to tow with it. I've only towed with my gas truck, so hopefully it tows better. That's kind of why I got it three years ago. I haven't got to use it. Thanks guys, like, share, subscribe, and hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe. Thanks.